As a longtime traffic analyst in New York, I think I can say with confidence that things never stay the same. Traffic patterns vary by time of day, season of the year. We all know what it's like driving home from work in the middle of rush hour. Over the long term, neighborhoods grow, populations move. It's always something different. Understanding traffic is one aspect of emergency planning at the Indian Point Energy Center because it impacts the safety of residents, first responders, and other emergency personnel in the unlikely event of an accident at the plant. Why unlikely? Because Indian Point was built from the ground up to include safety systems, backup safety systems, and backups to the backup systems, all engineered with one goal in mind, to keep employees, neighbors, and the surrounding community safe. What else can Indian Point do to fully prepare should an accident happen, however small the chance might be? For starters, they consider a whole host of variables, not just traffic, but weather conditions, communications, human behavior, and all manner of potential threats, both natural and man-made. Accounting for these variables is an ongoing process at the Indian Point Energy Center, where emergency planners continually update and refine their work. This involves regular on-site safety drills where personnel rehearse for everything from power outages to tornadoes to terror attacks. The main function of my department is ensuring that the sites implement their emergency planning expeditiously. We have four teams that are on call every week. We have quarterly drills for each team. Every other year we have an exercise which NRC and FEMA comes in to evaluate. We're always looking to make improvements. It also means daily collaboration with national, state, and local authorities, including the New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Management Services, the New York State Department of Health, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Department of Homeland Security, the U.S. Coast Guard, as well as state and local police, firefighters, and other first responders. In our business and in fire service, training is one of the most crucial things you can do. In order to reinforce the plan and make it a stronger plan, we do train here at our, fire head, at our firehouse and with Indian Point a few times a year. And this way it's just not you know, a plan on paper, that it's actually a plan that, that can function and work. Our staff through time, through drills and education, has become very familiarized and at ease with the idea of radiological emergencies. We're here for the community. We're here for our patients, and we're here for our employees as well. The emergency planning staff at Indian Point also work with KLD, a leading authority on traffic engineering and emergency planning. KLD uses sophisticated computer modeling to map out evacuation routes for all those who live and work within a 10-mile radius of the plant. Their work factors in a wide range of scenarios that could affect traffic during a possible evacuation like whether it's rush hour or midday, winter or summer. They consider weather conditions like wind direction or snowfall amounts, even how major sporting events or concerts might impact travel throughout the region. Because Indian Point's emergency planning zone has the most robust roadway system of any site in the United States, their evacuation time estimate is comparable to some sites and even less than some other sites. Uh, even though they have a very high population, they are surrounded by interstates because you've got parkways that feed the interstate. You actually have a very good roadway system such that these people can be evacuated in a reasonable amount of time. Even though Indian Point has always operated safely, they still pay close attention to industrial accidents, storms, and earthquakes in other parts of the world. By studying these events, emergency planners at Indian Point gain critical knowledge that can only enhance their readiness in case of an accident. If an emergency were to occur, state and local authorities, as well as plant officials, have the tools and resources in place to advise you on the proper course of action, like whether to shelter or evacuate. If it's the latter, they will direct you toward the fastest routes away from the area. Putnam County has an emergency services bureau uh, that basically takes control of any incident within the county and we work very closely with Entergy uh, as well as other partners and key stakeholders throughout you know, the region 
to prepare for uh, any type of emergency. Uh, in the event that we actually had something in this county, uh, we're able to uh, mobilize our resources very, very quickly and uh, you know, get people out of harm's way. Our 211 line is open seven days a week, 365 days a year. When there's any kind of an emergency, we can instantly transform to a crisis line and we can tell people evacuation routes, we can tell people where there are services that they might need to access, whether it be food or other health and human service. Beyond that, we work with the Westchester County Department of Emergency Services and do two to three drills per year just on Indian Point to make sure that we are ready to go, ready for action. The training that we get from Indian Point does help us outside of Indian Point with other situations that we might have. We were able to utilize some of the basic skill sets and learning that would be utilized for an Indian Point response to respond to Hurricane Sandy. So specifically, the uh, incident command system is portable across any type of emergency, and it's also scalable to any emergency. We learn things every time we practice, every time we partner with new entities. It sharpens our skills. It makes us better able to respond to any emergency or disaster in the community. By studying every possible scenario, using advanced computer systems and modeling techniques, and conducting regular safety drills to assure all systems work as planned, the Indian Point Energy Center is confident that in the unlikely event of an emergency, your safety and that of your family, friends, and coworkers is assured.